Welcome to Artists Creating Togethers. Art is everywhere virtual fundraiser. Artists Creating Together is a nonprofit organization serving individuals with disabilities to learn, grow, and celebrate through the arts. Over the next half hour, we plan to pack everything in and show you what we do, why we do it, who inspires us, who is an artist at ACT, who volunteers here, and how you can get involved. We planned two really lovely fundraisers for this spring, and we weren't able to have them, but they're really important to the future of ACT because they fund all of our programs for both youth, schools, health and healing programs, art exhibits, so everything we do comes back to the funding that we raise from these fundraisers. If you're one of those people that is feeling a little burned out with virtual events and Zoom classes and remote opportunities and you just want to donate, you are welcome to do that. You can visit artistscreatingtogether.org and there is a link to the Art is Everywhere virtual fundraiser. But before you go, we promise that this will be really fun. You will be inspired and I think that you'll be really happy that you took some time to hear from these unique voices in our community and beyond. Anyone can donate at any time through our website. Our goal is to raise the funding necessary to continue to do virtual programming for as long as we need to and as soon as possible get students together. Last but not least, we really would like you to help us share all that Artists Creating Together has to offer. There are still families or people with disabilities within our community that don't know about ACT and they're looking for connections, they're looking for a creative outlet. This is the place. This is also a great place to volunteer, a great place to join a committee, a great board to be a part of, a great place to donate art supplies. There are tons of ways to get involved with classes and events. The first ACT artist that you'll hear from is Carson Ball. Carson was one of our artists in apprenticeship this year, and those artists show their art to the community, sell their art as a supplemental income, and really get the word out about themselves as artists. After that, you'll hear from John Nowak. He's a newer teaching artist for ACT, and he is teaching within two of our hospitals, within the health and healing programs, but also within our school program, the artist and residency programs that go into area classrooms. Hello, my name is Carson Ball, and I am a part of the ACT art program. And I really like ACT. I have been uh, big into art at a very young age. I, I love uh, painting, drawing, and cartooning. And art has been a part of my life for many, many years. And my father um, is big into art, so I've gotten that from him. And um, ACT was just the right class for me. Art is everywhere. It's in nature, it's in the city, it's in every it's on every tree, it's on every sign, it's in every light, everywhere. It's very calming and it, it uh, feels good. Um, like just putting your mind out and just putting it on a piece of paper. Yeah, I've met many new artists. I've met uh, fellow fellow students like myself uh, within the program, and I have met successful artists that have been a part of uh, things like Art Prize and many other places like that. And I would encourage others to go to ACT because it's a good way 
of putting your stresses behind and just and just focusing on your mind and yourself. I just want to say thank you to Kat and all her helpers for uh, teaching me and working with me. And I also want to thank the fellow students and visitors for, for sharing their art. Hi, my name is John Nowak, and I've been working with Artists Creating Together for just about a year now. One of the reasons I love Artists Creating Together is because they provide me that opportunity to get out into my community and, and share my talents and gifts and bring a little bit of joy and happiness through music to people who really need it. I chose to become a, a part of Artists Creating Together because I knew that my talents and my gifts for music could go further than just performing and touring with a band. Being able to bring that music and those smiles and those memories and conversation to people who really need it um, in hospitals or in public schools or special education, it creates moments of mindfulness and uh, present engagement with classes and friends and strangers and I feel like at the end of every session everybody has become closer so I highly encourage other people to get involved in artists creating together it's been a joy of my life to interact with all of these different people from all different walks of life to connect through music and art and community is so important because we all have something to offer there's a place for everybody at Artists Creating Together, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. Thank you to Artists Creating Together. Art is everywhere, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Thank you again for joining us for Artists Creating Together's Art is Everywhere virtual fundraiser. If you're one of those people that hopped on late, I'm Angela Steele, the Executive Director of ACT. And today we're hearing stories from the many voices that represent ACT's mission and the work that we do throughout West Michigan. If you leave the stream, we really hope that you will take the time to donate to support all of the different work that we do and all of the individuals that we serve and inspire. More information is available on the website. It is artistcreatingtogether.org slash art dash is dash everywhere. If you have any questions, you can just give us a call. We're in the office on standby for the set event time. And if we don't answer, just leave a message and we'll call you back as soon as possible. Next up is Laura Armenta, a teaching artist for ACT that's taught for us for numerous years in all different forms of creative movement. And she's really great at creating a safe environment where everyone can feel the beat. Hi, my name is Nora Armenta. I am a mover. I'm a dancer, yogini, choreographer. I am also the owner and artistic director of Armentality Movement Art Center. Uh, with ACT, I do different classes. I teach different dance styles from ballet to some salsa, even some Bollywood dance, uh, lots of stretching, yoga, and anything that has to do with a somatic way to move the body. For me, art is a language. It's the way we express our thoughts, our emotions. Art is a vehicle to bring together that expression, whether it is vulnerability or ecstatic joy. Art is a language in which we can communicate within our community and as humanity at large. As a dancer, obviously, uh, I use my body to express those emotions and those desires. 
It is wonderful to have an organization like ACT here in Twin Rapids in West Michigan because it's bringing that opportunity to create that communication and that link of emotions and richness uh, within everybody that participates is allowing that language to bring us together. And I love when I teach those classes, it really makes me happy to make eye contact and then suddenly have this laughter. Or for me, it is great to see my students when they are so proud of accomplishing something and have that one moment where things click. Uh, that is a connection, that is the language that after a repetition or after week to week coming back to try the same choreography or try a particular beat within the music that makes a difference and art is what brings us into ourselves at the same time. So I really would love to make sure everybody understands what ACT is all about. And now I would like to ask you to please support ACT because their programs, the classes, and the collaboration with other organizations are enriching and empowering. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emily Petersmark and I am a part-time staff member at ACT, but I am also a teaching artist. Um, one of the ways I've participated as a teaching artist recently is in our Stay Home and Stay Creative virtual lessons. Um, it's a free resource, much like many of the other programs that ACT offers for people with disabilities in our community. Um, we're so thankful to the many donors each year who make these types of programs possible. Thank you to all of you out there watching who are part of our support network and those of you who will join today by making a donation to Art Is Everywhere. Now to break up the event a little bit, I wanted to lead you all in a small stay home and stay creative exercise. Today we will be learning a new rhythm and all you will need is a way to make noise. I will be clapping. And so in order to um, duplicate this rhythm, it's a new Orleanian rhythm. It follows the rhythm of how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. All right. So if you guys can keep that clap going at home, I'm going to sing a little bit of a song from my band, The Crane Wives, just to show you how it all fits together. Ready? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Watch me give up, honey. Watch me give up. I swore I never would. But we've been wishing upon ourselves things that I forgot I cannot do. Where does your faith form? Where does your faith form in me? Don't break the bottle, don't waste your blessings on me. I am a safe ship harbor, a safe ship harbor, losing all of my good years to the shallow waters. I am proud, I am proud. I wasn't born to save ship, someone wore me down. Oh, thank you guys so much for participating with me. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce one of our ACT students, Kyle Behe. My name is Kyle and I have been involved with so many ACT classes. The classes um, that I have been in were Clay B. Were Clay B. Jewelry, Made in Michigan, and Action Choir. Art for me it is community um because it's um it's basically about how um, we come together as one and we can think about art during that time too as well and how we can create art in our community. 
This um, it's a piece that I took that I traced from a computer first with a shark first with a pen and pencil, and I used pen and pencil first, and then I tend to then I used sharpie, and then and then I used colorful colorful colors around it, and then and then I continue with the same line that's on that's on the outline here, like. I would say my favorite memory was when was when Emily Peters Mark was a teacher um through one of my act act classes and I will ever remember Emily being uh, through one of my teachers through act. It sometimes can be difficult through for what disability through all these through all of the in, through all of the individuals. Um that it can be that it can be challenging. But that could be ch challenging in 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 some ways. But on the, I just like the fact that um how we come together. It's how it's not just about act, but it's through our act our act community of how we can build s stronger relationships and to build and to and to make more friends. Wow, thank you, Kyle. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be a part of ACT. Um, ACT has been a big part of our community as well, and I'd like to give a special shout out to some of our community partners, uh, Muse GR, Lions and Rabbits, uh, uh, Darius Colquitt and Company, as well as the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Thank you guys so much for supporting ACT. Um, also, don't forget, if you haven't RSVP'd formally um, and signed up on our event page, which the link should be in the video description, do so before noon today because anyone who signs up on the form is automatically entered to win one of two packs from local business Pack Elephant. And uh, we'll announce the winners in our event follow-up email on Friday. Next, I'd like to introduce Carissa Beedling. Hello, my name is Carissa Beedling and I am an ACT Board of Directors member as well as a longtime volunteer and supporter of ACT. I hope you enjoyed hearing all of these stories today and will stay tuned for some more. What you may not know is that many of our programs continued through the recent months through YouTube lessons, interactive online learning, and Zoom classes, which I'm excited because in a few minutes, you're going to get a glimpse of what a Zoom class is like with ACT, as well as planning for the future classes is so important. We will continue to reach the West Michigan community as we have since 1986. As we look forward, we need community support to enable ACT to offer programs in the next year and beyond. That's where you come in. We need your support by donating, signing up to be a volunteer, or getting involved in another way. To donate, you can find a button on our website at artistscreatingtogether.org backslash art dash is dash everywhere. I'll give you a few moments to pull up that tab. As you see on that webpage, you can make a one-time donation, or if you choose to donate for five years or more at one of the levels listed in the Arts for All Society section, we would be honored to have you join this group. If volunteering or applying to be a teaching artist is a better fit for you, you can also find unique sections for both on our website. While you're opening that up in another tab, I wanna share a story with you about my experience at volunteering. I have volunteered over the years in many different classes, whether it's drumming, drawing, music, anything and everything. One in particular story I wanted to share was about a student, Leanne. She was in one of the drawing classes and she's been in a lot of other classes too. 
In my first time meeting Leanne, we worked alongside each other during the classes weekly. In this particular instance, she was a perfectionist and I am not good at drawing at all. So it was really fun and funny to work alongside together. She didn't carry a lot of emotions in the beginning and we just kind of worked together quietly and enjoyed each other's company. By the end of class, I had her laughing so hard. It was such a moment for me to show that I didn't have to be a good drawer to be a volunteer in this class. That all she really needed was a good laugh watching my terrible drawing and she was helping me in the end. The hope is that you can learn from this and take a chance to volunteer and know that you do not have to be perfect at art. These are the types of moments that are essential to the growth, joy, and belonging we aim to foster with our programs. ACT truly ensures that art is everywhere for their participants and your support is how ACT is able to make that happen. I hope that you are able to make a donation that fits your giving level. Any donation makes a difference. If you need more time, the webpage and links will continue to be available. I am excited to share with you that we will next hear from longtime student, avid Michigan State fan, and one of the most fearless dancers I know. Act student, Katie Van Overen. And thank you all very much for joining us today. We really can't do it without you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Katie Vanova and I've been at ACT for numbers of years and taking cuts all, all year long. Fall, winter, spring, and summer. I've also been part of some classes that perform at many ACT fundraising events. Tell us, what do you think art is to you, Katie? Art is using my creativity to make a beautiful painting of of sculptures, picture of my family and friends. And I can also be before making music, dancing, stepping, telling jokes, cutting, and cooking. Nice. Do um, you have a favorite uh, kind of art from ACT? This one right here is the abstract art. It has cloth, it gives like a little a mixture of orange and green. My favorite ACT memory is hanging with my friends and sitting next to each other. To me, art has fun and being creative with my friends. All right. And art is? It's everywhere. Hi, my name is Mindy Tolzma. Over the last few years, I have volunteered in several different ways. I volunteer at events, um, and recently I started volunteering at regularly scheduled classes. For me, art is a way to speak non-verbally. I oftentimes have a hard time expressing myself. For me, art is a way to do that. I can choose colors that reflect my emotions. I can draw pictures and create pieces when I'm happy and when I'm sad, when I'm angry. I, my art displays all types of emotions and feelings has been more beneficial for me than I leave feeling happy, feeling growth, love seeing how much they know about each other, and I love seeing faces when they see each other, and um, it, it's been really impactful. I highly encourage getting involved We are really thankful for Mindy. She has supported artists creating together in many different ways. Something that you might have noticed in the photos highlighted in the last segment is the creative cube. 
The Creative Cube is Axe Mobile Art Studio. It's a reimagined race trailer that is fully accessible for people of all abilities. It is great for visual arts, performing arts. It's great as a part of an event, but it's also an event in and of itself. This is just one of the many programs that your donations will support. Next up, we have teaching artist Stephen Edelman, one of our interns turned volunteer, turned teaching artist. After that, we have our performing group, the Action Drummers. They have worked really hard to prepare a special quarantined inspired performance in a recent Zoom class led by teaching artist Josh Dunnigan. My name is Stephen Edelman. I am a teaching artist with Artists Creating Together. I joined this amazing community four years ago uh, as an intern. Just being, being a part of the Artists Creating Together community has been so meaningful for me. Not just as an artist, but as a person. It's, it's infused creativity in my life. It's infused connection in my life. Art is, is creatively being. It is meeting both the wonder of life and the difficulties of life with, with curiosity and playing with it. And in this play of images and in this play of movements and in this play of, of words and of drama and of music, we, we transform. We transform those things inside of us and outside of us into, into something really beautiful. Community arts are, are in this moment of, of transformation, which means we need art more than ever. There is something magical about art. There is something about it that is truly healing and truly transformative. And right now, as a world and as a community, um, what we need is the ability to transform what we're going through. We need creativity. We need the ability to express ourselves. We need a way to come together as a community. I am just so grateful to be a part of our screen together. Once a week throughout the year, this group comes together to do something that we feel is very important and that is make music with each other. Whether it be face-to-face -face in the Artist Creating Together studio, or like you see here on a Zoom call, we meet up instruments at the ready so that we can collaborate and create music. We started off as a small group of eight students with me as the teacher, but we've been adding friends ever since. If you walk into an Action Drummers rehearsal, you'll be greeted with warm smiles and hello from every person in the room. And as with any group of friends, we spend the first few minutes just listening to each other, saying hello, sharing our joys, our sorrows, our triumphs. And then we get down to the work of making music. And our musical process is fun. It's collaborative. It's creative. Everyone comes with their ideas. Everyone comes with their ways to make it work. Everyone comes with their instruments and their joy and willingness to make music. And all the work we do learning about music and figuring out how to create together is with the intent of making performances for our larger community. And we have some pretty amazing performances. Hello, Joshua Dunnigan, teaching artist for Artists Creating Together and director of the Action Drummers. During these times, we are making sure that everyone stays happy and healthy. ACT has continued to work to make sure that people can make art and music everywhere. As a matter of fact, it's time for me to make music with the Action Drummers. Let's say hello. All right, Devin, are you ready to lead us in a little roll stop? Yes. Okay, take it away. All right, Devin, thank you very much for leading us in some roll stop. You're welcome. All right, everyone sticks up.
Show me you're ready. One, two, three, four. We are the action drummers. 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 We, the action drummers. we will rock on. Thank you so much to all that have donated. Remember this video will stay up. So please share the video, encourage your networks to donate to ACT, to watch this video to learn how to get involved, and to go to the Art is Everywhere webpage. If you have any glitches as you're trying to donate, no problem, just give us a call. We're available right now. And we want you to know how heavily we rely on community support so that we can continue to offer all of these impactful programs. To wrap up our time, we'd like you to hear from one of the action drumming participants. We will also hear from board member and professional teaching artist, Daniel Walker. My name is Dominic Pagnoli, and this is Mom Julie. Hi, Dominic's been a part of the ACT program for about a year now and he's participated in drumming with Josh, stomp dancing with Darius, and hip hop with Michael. ACT is a fun and safe place for Dominic to express his creativity. And my favorite kind of art is hip hop. It helps me stay healthy and active. I would encourage others to support ACT because it gives our kids a positive atmosphere to learn and grow and to feel good about themselves. Hey everybody, I'm Daniel Walker and I'm an ACT teaching artist, donor, and most recently the newest member to join the ACT board. Uh, I believe in ACT's mission because people deserve to be heard, they have a voice, and I believe ACT provides that ability. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, your support helps bring art everywhere.